Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Manager for Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I will show you how to get creative with your cross section and animate them to reveal your design. This video is a great example of being creative with Showcase. It features a combination of visual style as well as animated cross section. So let's review how we can animate a cross section in Showcase. Let's start by opening the cross section menu by pressing X on the keyboard and create a cross section plane. This cross section will crop your building horizontally right in the middle of whatever the design you have. Now the cross section is not visible until you hit shift X and now you can see the cross section plane. So it's always easier to show the transform handle in order to move the cross section around. For this particular project, I'm going to rotate my cross section plane 90 degree and I'm going to move it completely in front of my car and slowly reveal my car from left to right as my animation. So I'm going to move my cross section plane completely in front of my car and therefore my car is now completely cut off from the scene and therefore invisible. Now the shadow of the car is still there and I find that really distractive. So I'm going to open the directional light and shadow menu and I'm going to go under the shadow casting for all environments and I'm going to change the shadow caster to be only cast on the object and not on my environments. So next I'm going to open the behavior menu and create a keyframe animation. By doing so, it opened the keyframe animation menu where I can save a keyframe for the uh, cross section. So make sure that you had the selected object to the keyframe animation menu. So in this case, my cross section. And then you're going to add a keyframe to lock this position into your animation. So you see the keyframe gets automatically added. And I'm going to move at five seconds in time. So you can either uh, scroll down or enter the keyframe time down below. And then I'm going to move my cross section plane to where I want it uh, to be at the end of my animation. So at five seconds. So I'm going to move it completely on the other side of my car. Now to save this position, I'm going to add an extra keyframe. So a second keyframe that is saving the uh, position of my cross section. Now, if I open the playback control of this keyframe animation, I can rewind to the beginning, it's play, and you'll see that the car gets revealed within five seconds and the cross session is animated from keyframe A, which is the departing point of the uh, cross section to keyframe B, which is the end animation of my uh, cross section. Now the cross section is still visible and I want to make it unvisible to the scene. So I don't want to see the cross section. I only want to see the animation. So I also have playback option in the behavior menu and I can hit play, stop, rewind, play again, and I can uh, start adding the cross section uh, animation or the behavior or the keyframe animation, call it whatever you want into my storyboard slides. Now you also have access to the properties of that cross session. For example, you can make that cut uh, a different color. So a red color by changing the cross section color. And then uh, you can go back to the behavior menu, uh, stop, rewind and play and see what that cross section animation looks like and then include it as part of your presentation. You can also include different visual style um, for the reveal of your, of your uh, car or your project. For this particular example, I'm using a realistic style, but you can also start using more abstract style and really get creative with the animation of your cross section. So I hope this is helping you get creative with Showcase and to maybe think a little bit outside the box on or how you can present your project to your customers or co-worker to really sell and get people excited about what you are creating.